welcome students of standard 9 to today's english literature class on chapter 8 poem ethics part 3 in the previous two videos you had understood about ethics you were given a story to judge who was the culprit then you were taught the first 10 lines or so of the poem ethics as linda pastan a student she has explained the question asked by her teacher every fall and the various and the responses that the children gave each year let's now continue ethics by linda pastan so we move on now to the second part of the poem sometimes the woman borrowed my grandmother's space leaving her usual kitchen to wander some drafty half imagined museum one year feeling clever i replied why not let the woman decide herself linda the teacher would report as choose the burdens of responsibility so next part of the poem this says every year the teacher in the fall season would ask the children suppose there is a fire in a museum whom would you save whom will you save suppose there is a fire in a museum whom will you save an old woman or the rembrandt painting so the children would express their thoughts when they were young they used to say one year they would say the woman the next year they would say the painting for because they felt that it was such a silly question or they could not relate to it and so they would just be giving these answers in a in a half hearted manner all right so now she continues so she says sometimes when i look at that woman that old woman i feel she has borrowed my grandmother's face that is she is aging and she feels as if the old woman is none other than her grandmother and where is the grandmother's usual place she loves to work in the kitchen correct so she says sometimes i used to feel that the woman in the question has borrowed my grandmother's face she is leaving her kitchen and wandering wandering means to go aimlessly no aim you go this side that side somewhere some drafty half imagined museum so she saying as if her grandmother's face has been borrowed by this woman and she is just wandering aimlessly in a museum she is there in a museum and she is just trying to move up and down nothing is making much sense to her she doesn't seem to be really interested in anything but she is just moving along one year feeling clever so this is happening year after year that means you are growing so linda one year growing growing up and when the teacher posed the same question in the ethics class she thought she had now become cleverer she replied who is this she linda why not let the woman decide herself so she saying instead of you asking us this question whom will you save the old woman or you will save the rembrandt painting why don't you put this question to the woman only who is in that plight who is in that trouble linda the teacher would report immediately the teacher is addressing linda and saying linda excuse means avoid she says that is avoiding responsibility i am asking you a question whom will you save an old woman or the rembrandt painting and what are you telling why not ask the woman let her decide for herself you are actually shirking from responsibility shirking from responsibility or avoiding responsibility means why should i get into it there is an accident on the road you see somebody struggling for life over there 
you want to you want to move in to help them but at the same time you are scared about the consequences that you may have to face after it the shouts you may get at home who asked you to go and get into trouble now the police is coming here every day for enquiry and all that stuff so what do you do at times like this you just shirk away from the responsibility and they say as if i am the only one who can save if that person has to be saved so many others are around they will help so like that here when linda is answering the question saying let the woman decide for herself the teacher is saying that is getting away from responsibility and that's not a very good sign so drafty is cold and uncomfortable because of currents of cool air now kitchen why is it compared wander see here sometimes the woman borrowed my grandma's space leaving her usual kitchen to wander kitchen is supposed to be a very warm place because you are around the heat and the fire it makes you feel pretty comfortable from here she was wandering into a museum which is cool so much of cold there it's, it's not there's no light i mean heat there it's all cool and she finds it very uncomfortable so that's what she means when she says her grandmother's face that woman has worn and she started wandering into a cold area which is making her very uncomfortable is that clear all right now let's look at the meanings in general in these lines the poetess linda is sharing her experience in the ethics class when the teacher repeats the same question every year in autumn she suddenly pictures the old woman in the question having her grandma's face she feels that the woman has borrowed her grandmother's face she feels her grandmother has left the kitchen to wander into some uncomfortable half imagined museum so there is no an over there into some an an is not there uncomfortable ha half imagined museum it's not a real museum it's an imagination one year when the poet is cleverly replied that it would be good for the woman to decide for herself the teacher told linda that she was trying to avoid responsibility avoid responsibility here means that linda was answering the question without giving much thought to it she was passing the buck to the old woman in the question burdens of responsibility means load of responsibility that is hard to bear when you feel something is very difficult to bear what do you want to do you just want to do away with it just give away and say i cannot handle it let it go but can it go like that no for example you are not able to study a subject you don't like the subject you can't understand it saying oh my god it is such a burden i don't want to study it can you just leave it and continue no whether you like it or not you have to fight fight means inner inner in you have to tell your inner self no it is important i know i don't like the subject i know i am not able to understand but i will try and understand and somehow finish it because this is the way to progression you can progress in life only when you face the problems or the responsibilities so to summarize the question asked by the teacher every fall changes in answer as the students grow up explanation of the lines of the poem meanings of difficult words we have completed these and the summary of these lines questions answer the following in your notebooks what was the answer given by the poetess to the teacher what was the teacher's reply what is wrong in teacher's reply children it should be an apostrophe and not a comma what was the teacher's reply r apostrophe s not r comma s what did the poetess imagine what do you understand by the term birds of burdens of responsibility give the meanings for these words usual wander drafty excuse i'm sure you have understood
थैंक यू